If you're having trouble with your PS2 not reading your games, you're going to want to watch this. And if you're getting a disc error on your PS2 or it's not reading, I'm just going to go over some quick tips to try to get your system working again. Um, take it apart on the bottom. There's about six, seven screws. That's not hard, so you get that out. Then you got some screws over here, and you're going to take that apart. I pretty much got it disassembled a little bit, so you get so you guys don't have to watch like a 20-minute video. And then over here, what you're going to do? There's this little hexagon screw. I don't know what you, whatever you want to call it. Try to show you the screwdriver. It's got like um, it's like a star tool or something. So you need one of those if you're going to want to remove that screw right there. And then you got two more with a little Phillips right there. You're gonna unscrew those two. And I pretty much got both of them unscrewed. And now you're gonna be able to get your laser out and get underneath it. Now you could take a Q-tip and alcohol and clean this right here. And there's also a little plate under there. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Underneath the laser, and you gotta be really delicate or uh, careful with that, it's like a little blue mirror. And that also gets dust on it. And that could be causing your system not to work also. Um, on this system, all I keep getting on my screen is um, reading disk, and it just keeps reading. I'm not getting anywhere. There's two screws on the bottom here that are going to intensify your laser, and you turn them clockwise, and we're going to get there in a second. But what you do is you turn those two little screws clockwise, and it turns your laser up. Don't turn it up too much, because if you go way too much, it's um, going to burn your laser out way quicker. But turn them up a little bit. And I'm sorry to say this, but then you got to put it back together and try it and keep keep trying it as you turn it up. And hopefully that works for you if that's your uh, last resort. Also, I got some WD-40 here. Just in case my laser is not riding on this bar, these two bars right here, I'm going to take a Q-tip and spray some WD-40 on it and just wipe it on there and see if that helps it. I'm just trying to troubleshoot this problem and get this thing fixed. Um, there's people on eBay that want like... 30 bucks for this laser because of the model that I have which sucks it's one of the most expensive rarest ones I guess they didn't make them a lot um, and now we're gonna go from here so I'm gonna take this off and we get underneath it to show you guys and the two screws that I was talking about that you are going to adjust are let me get this little screwdriver are right here they don't look like screws actually they're just two little notches turn them clockwise and crank them up just a little bit see if that helps. Screws. And the reason I'm making this video because every video that was made of this PS2 um, fix your laser or you know help your PS2 work um, is not in HD. It's horrible. You could hardly see. It's grainy video. Um, it's just pretty bad and some people don't even know what they're talking about so that's why I'm making this video. So all I ask you guys for watching this uh, is hit the thumbs up button. That's all I'm asking but what I got is a little eyeglass tool kit um, Phillips. You see that right there? and that fits right in there and you almost need like a microscope to see this thing but I'm trying to get in there and get it so you guys can see it but I'm just gonna crank mine just a little bit there it is and you can see it turning and I'm cranking it just a little bit both of them one of them's for DVD and one of them's for your games I'm not sure which one but I'm just cranking both of them just a quarter crank and then I'm gonna put it back together and try that also gonna grease this up like I said um, I'm gonna, still going to show you guys that little mirror plate that was in there. So let me go ahead and do that before I put this I got back a little together. screw here that's going to come off with a Phillips. We're going to go ahead and unscrew that. This little plastic thing, that's going to snap off. I'm going to try to show you this. I just got my fingernail in there, and I'm snapping that off. There it is. It just came off like a little cage. Just little clips on there. Nothing, nothing crazy. You can see them on my fingernail. So anyways, got those off. And you'll see what you're going to do is see how this comes up like that? Instead of taking it all apart, which you don't need to, just lift it up a little and get a Q-tip with some alcohol on it and rub it on that little, you see that plate right there, it looks like a magnifying glass. Um, and I would do both sides. Under the little laser under there, you could see the little window up, up top, right there on the tip of my thumb. So get those Q-tip Q -tip and alcohol, get both of those and uh, put it all back together. And hopefully this fixes your PS2. Um, again, hit the thumbs up button. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. That's fine. But I really appreciate it. I took my time to make this video for you guys in HD. So thanks for watching. I hope it fixes your PS2. Have a good day.